So I got called back to Tibet after my piss poor performance with Gunjin. And my guru, he wasn't happy. He was not happy that my lessons, I didn't learn shit. So there was a little bit of boot camp. And now, he's telling me that I have to learn how to play it on a sword based one. I gotta be able to chop before I can shoot. I'm pretty sure that's because Gunjin's just too fucking weird for him. It's too new age for his old school teachings. So I'm gonna go to the old school roguelike. Chopping and chopping more. Now luckily uh, we did get a little bit uh, last time we played uh, Rogue Legacy with Blue. So this time I'm gonna be a little bit upgraded. I was gonna be good. Now I only have tanks available out of my heirs <laughs> and a mage but... Fuck mages, in all honesty. Fuck mages. Mages, no. I, I cannot do anything useful with them. So I could do, so Johnny, Mr. Bravo. Look at him, permaroided, definitely Mr. Bravo. Or the Barbarian Queen with OCD. Ooh, but she got a glaucoma, that's the problem. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go permaroided. I'm gonna go hyperoided. See, we got a little bit of armor. We got a little bit of smack and power. We killed the boss. Once. Now this is gonna be very doable. How are you doing? How are you doing? Charon. He, he understands. I think my guru had a chat with him that now he's not taking all the money. Or that upgrade that we've done. That upgrade was a good thing. Oh, I miss this game. I haven't played in ages. As you can see me running into things. Ooh. It's just so crisp. So nice. Reminds me of... Like the old school 2D slashers. Just right on point. Nope, fuck you. Now, this area, we already killed the boss last time. So now, we just gotta completely sprint through it, maybe get some gold, all that kind of shit. But this area, it's been done already. Now we just gotta. Ooh, journal. Da, 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 eternity of darkness, frightening. Side note, some forest fissures and all that. Whatever that is, we're going into the forest. Let's, ooh, the boss. So this is where we killed the boss, grab some gold for random further upgrades. So, uh, oh no, no, not the final area. After you get the boss, you can randomly find little obels, as it were. <laughs> I'm still a little bit sick, but yeah, you can find obols to unlock harder version of the bosses. And you know what? Those bosses are eh. Holes? Fuck off. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. A bunch of guns. But here's the thing. I am tank. Tank, tank. Ow. Your measly little damage does nothing. Nothing. For, ah, running into you does something. For I am Barbarian King. <laughs> now come here. Let me show... Let me show you the way. I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, when was the last time you let not Barbarian King show you the world Whew. yeah blue's right my go-to accent is right away Greswaldy but it's a fun one to do I enjoy it choppy choppy and items Ooh. nah I already got night cape you don't need squire but the hierarchy of weapons as it were Night beat squire just okay you're bigger Nope, nope. Fuck you, fuck you. Woo! Puh, get this a bit. I'm gonna make you bounce. Bounce! Okay, so we're finally done through this. We So we beat this area's boss, the nice little castle. We go outside, into the forest, where everything is marginally, extremely harder. And there's defying gravity rocks. Completely doable. So this is where the lessons of the guru will have to be learned. One must not be greedy. One must be patient and know when to run away. And one must get good. Other words. Oblivious. 
Ew. Ew. It's a fun game. I. It's a big distinction between the gameplay of this one and the items of uh, Gunjin, for example. Those kind of games. Because I, I love the random item stuff. I love it. This one has less less items overall. It still has random shit, but there's less items whatsoever. Ooh. Ow. You goddamn fish. This is why it's good to be tank. <laughs> Ooh. I love my little random items, but the gameplay of this one is just wonderful. I love it. You cannot hit me with your blood tears. Come. Come to me, and it will be in the world of pure imagination. Oh, Cox. Okay, still alive. I don't actually remember what the boss is in this one, so let's learn. The previous one was a giant eyeball. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, no. Fireballing is rude. It's like spitting. But it hurts a little bit more, so how about I chop you with my glorious barbarian king sword? Oh. Dodge, peaceful, okay. What? Wonderful. I always envy people that were good in this type of games. I know some people that could just close their eyes and run through these ones. That's that's a skill important for life itself. Yeah, it should happen. A little bit of software glitch, sort about that. As I was saying, chopping things is just fun. I'm gonna I hope this whole experience of learning how to play this kind of game kind of works out. Because, I mean, yeah, I could survive, live a happy, happy life without learning how to play roguelikes. But I'm pretty sure it's just convincing myself it's happy. With such a skill, it's necessary for life. Now, where the hell do I go? Oh, we missed a chest. Let's go get us some money, yeah? Oh, it's to the hell of a lot of enemies. Come, come to me, puppy! Woo! Running, running! Screw order, screw organization, we just run. Yes! I call this technique the Barbarian King method of being a pussy. Following the rules of don't be too prideful to run away. Cocks and baggers. Baggers? Okay, still alive. Come with me, and you'll be in a world of pure barbarianation. Da da da, da da da, da da. So, so for anyone that doesn't actually know this game, what happens is a great game. I do suggest trying it out. But what happens is every time you die in this one. Okay, so from the beginning, there's four bosses. Ooh, come on, horsey. Four bosses, one per area, and then some final bosses, which I never actually got to yet, so don't ask me what they are. Fuck me. Okay. Still alive. Still alive. But what's cool about this one, you don't actually choose... You don't actually restart from the very start exactly at zero. You choose your air. Your... Ow, my 30 health. Ooh. Just in the nick of time, we got to the boss. And a ooh, much better armor. Okay. Fuck yes. Sword, sword. Even if we die, we're gonna be sexy looking after this. Just gorgeous. Now, nope, not going down there. Let's just let's just die to this boss. I mean, kick this boss's ass. But yeah. So, you don't choose. You don't restart the the character. Just don't. Okay, Mr. Alexander, come to me, and we'll be in a world of pure imagination. Shit, shit. Luckily, he gets multi-damage. Ah, oh, unluckily, he's huge, and I don't know where the hell he runs out. 